Lock and Box. <lacht> My first nickname it was uh, Sunny. Uh, I don't really know my first name. I think I was like uh, Gangern or something like that. Uh, so your first nickname? Oh, the Bald Eagle. That was your first. I mean, no, it wasn't. <laughs> how young were you my bald, first man? Nickname was uh, it was Angel actually. Okay, we were looking at in in game nicknames. Yeah, no, okay. Did you start out as the seal clubber, or did you as the seal really clubber? Oh, no, that was uh, that was a later development in life. Oh, I think cool. my first nickname was uh, probably uh, Crash. I don't know. Yeah. I had some really crap names. Really, really, really shitty names. My first nickname was actually Lucky Headshots, with a bunch of threes and like rotating capital capital letters. Uh, I was pretty young. I didn't really know anything. I thought my headshots were lucky. Uh, do, are you a big fan of buying pins? Any lucky unboxing? I have bought some pins. Um, I've had luck unboxing, but not with the pins. Have you got as many pins as Anders, you know, his oh, God, jacket? No. no, I'm no general. I'm more oh. of like a uh, sergeant, I would say. All right, you're working your way up the ranks. Yeah, takes time. Uh, I actually don't buy any pins. Or, like, I'm not a fan of skins in game or pins or, like, I'm pretty, pretty base guy. We bought some pins. Uh, I was not so lucky. Liz? <laughs> I opened the first box on my birthday and I actually got the dust too. So <laughs> it was really lucky. Very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Much more lucky than me. I only get Nuke and Inferno. Not Inferno. Inferno is good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you buy any pins? Any lucky unboxing? Well, let's measure about some, but I didn't open yet because it's a gift for my friends. What about you two? No, I did not buy. He <laughs> still doesn't like yeah. pins. Not a single one pin. He doesn't like even skins, man. I bought 20 pins, I think, in total. Not a single good one. <laughs> what kind of player are you? Swag 7 or Prime 90? I'm probably the swag. Yeah, me too. Mm. I, I can swag. Plen I just, when I play Prime 90, I just spray and pray. <laughs> plenty, plenty of swag here. Mm? <laughs> What kind of player are you? Swag7 or Pro90? Pro <laughs> I am Swag7, indeed. My nickname in Brazil is Falling7. I'm really good at it. Yeah, that's a hard question for me, but I prefer the Pro90. <laughs> it's, it's his face. Let's go. What kind of player are you? Swag7 or Pro90? Definitely Pro90. I, shotguns in this game, not a fan anymore. Is there anything pro about a P90? Oh, no, God, no. Unless you put it in get right hands, and then there is. I'm a Swag7 player myself. And I, 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 I'm probably more of a bison player of, of all the crap weapons, but um, yeah, P90 of those two. I mean, to be fair, every weapon in your hand is a crap weapon. <laughs> Shot, shots, five. five. Personally, all right, there's nothing all right. more satisfying than like a shotgun versus the chest. I, uh, yeah, game. absolutely. We'll leave the personal rips out of it, please. <laughs> <isn't> <laughs> Most impressive stage? Oh, well, this stage is pretty cool in DreamHack, and I think Katowice was then cool because we played against the Poles and we were fighting against the crew, so it was amazing. What about you two? Yeah, for me the same. Katowice, it was awesome because of the Polish crowd, but this one is looking great too. Oh, oh I know, the most impressive stage, Kupnogin Games uh, 2015. We, had, we, our, we had our own female stage, it yeah, was amazing. Yeah, 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 actually we did. We actually played on it. Yeah, awesome. we did. Yeah. We, we played against the French team, and we won. <laughs> <laughs> most impressive stage? Uh, I think the most impressive stage I've ever, I've ever actually seen is probably Katowice of this year. A um, lot of fans, crazy amount of people that were there, and it was just a really well-built well -built stage. Uh, most impressive stage? You mean, uh, like, tournament stage? Oh, wow. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it, don't forget the ESEA stage. Well, I was just thinking. I was just thinking. Yeah, but ESEA. The thing with that is, it's like a, it's the hotel basement. It's never that great, really. It's but it's a very chilled out land. Uh, I guess in terms of spectacle, it's it's got to be Katowice, hasn't it? Uh, I guess or Cologne. I mean, personally, I think the the best stage at these esports events is the bar after party when teams start getting knocked out. That's where you really see some shit. 
Oh yeah. Any uh, what kind of things might we see if we were to be in one of these bars, yeah, Jason? Have to come to the event. I can't. I can't reveal secrets, but things get weird. The craziest personality on CS:GO. Hmm. Hager. Yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm the. I'm the most. She's crazy. crazy. Oh my! Last <laughs> night. Last night was fucking crazy. Probably nothing from Cloud9. He just, he's just a clown. He's always doing stuff that's ridiculous and crazy, but he's hilarious, so. Not you? Definitely not me. Uh, Sadikist. He's pretty crazy. The craziest? No, he's just Canadian, man. Well, dude, I mean, there are things behind the scene that you... Uh, Taz as well. Pretty crazy guy. Yeah, yeah. I, can't, I can never read Taz. Do you find that? You can never tell if he's in a good mood or a bad mood. You never really know. Where I feel at. like Taz is always in a good mood. Unless, until they, until they he's like lose like in game, unless if they're losing. But I don't get to see that part. No, no, he's he's in a good mood until they win, and then he's like, "No, man, we play shit." Yeah. That's how Taz works, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I guess I don't know. You know, he's yeah. you know he's a little scary as Pasha. Pasha's a little. Oh, it's yeah. like the nicest guy, but like you walk up to him and he's huge. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, compared to some people, I mean, some of us are taller than others. All so. right. All right. All right. All right. Who's the craziest? The craziest. I don't know what he means with craziest. Taz, maybe? Yeah, Taz maybe is crazy. Yeah. yeah, maybe Taz. Maybe Taz, maybe Taz. Bunny Hope, surfing or pixel walking? Uh, I'm stuck at the tree. Often, sorry. Yeah, I like Bunny Hope. <laughs> but he's bad. Bunny Hope, surfing or pixel walking? Hmm, pixel walking? Surfing. But I can't do it. <laughs> Is pixel walking a thing? Like people going servers just to do it? Olaf Meister, he's a big fan of it. No, no, but like, bunny hopping is like a game mode. Surfing is like a game mode. Yeah, yeah. I actually suck at all of them. Um, I've always sucked at, at bunny hopping. Even way back to 1.3, I sucked at bunny hopping. Surfing, I never got into. No. I'm not in. Uh, I, you know what I liked um, was the HE maps back in the day. Oh yeah. Or the, yeah. there was a map Op Leetski. You ever hear that map? Oh man. And not oh, not like game. jumping and not surfing, but like. Op lead skeet is when you get launched out of a cannon, and it's just like five people on the other team with an op just lined up, and they have to pick you out of the air. It's great. Well, and if you make it to the end, you survive. You, you survive. You win. No, you you don't get guns. You land, and then you have to run into the building where the oppers are and try and knife them. All right. It's sounds, a blast. It's an old school map. All right. I, before my time, I am actually a fan of surfing, but these days surfing's like more of an art form. Like back in the day. It's intense, yeah. Yeah, yeah like surfing used to be about just getting to the bottom and then orping people as they were coming down, and that was like the whole game mode. But these days, it's like. Yeah. How quickly you can do it. Uh, surfing. I, I do a lot of surfing, especially when I stream. So definitely a fan of surfing. <laughs> Would you rather win a local LAN or get invited to a major and lose all your matches? I would, <laughs> I would probably win a local LAN, actually. No, I could go to a major, lose all our matches. Liz would throw the game, so. <laughs> I will. Would you rather win a local LAN or get invited to a major and lose all your matches? Well, I think that's a lot of honor in being on a majors. So even if some chains or players doesn't achieve passing the group stage, they should be proud of being there. So I think being on a major is really important. What about you? Being a major is really important too. I think uh, to play against the best is it's it's awesome. Well, I I lost all my matches here, so and I've won a local LAN, and I feel like. Even though we lost, I still like the experience. So I would, I would pick go to a major, lose all your matches. Oh, this is relevant for you as a player, right? So, as a previous player, would you rather win a local LAN or get invited to a major and lose all your matches, much like your American friends? Uh, go to the major, lose all my matches. Sticker money. Sticker money, right? Pay me. That's big money. Um, Spend, spending too much time with Thorin. <laughs> That's all right. Well, as a as a UK player, I mean. Yeah, you don't even get to do either of them. Local LAN, invited to a major, I don't know. I, I think for a British team to be at a major would be a big deal. So if I could, I'm not a player, but if I could be on stage to get smashed, just so the UK had a, some skin in the game, you know? Pick players for a dream team. Oh, that's hard, huh? A dream team. Well, my opinion on dream team would be Snacks from Virtus Pro, Get Right from NIP, uh, three more, damn it. Get Right, Snacks. Neil, Neil is then good. Forrest is really good. Last one. Uh, JW. JW, oh, yeah. JW is the best. 
What about you? Your dream team? Uh, my dream team is JW, Snacks, Flusha, Get Right, um, and Ola, yeah, yeah, and Ola. Oh, yeah, Ola Fizer and Flusha, <laughs> damn, damn it. Well, uh, obviously, it's going to be me and uh, LKS. And uh, we take Flusha, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, who's the best? We, ca we can't have an offer because I'm already offering. We need an Indian leader. I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. Mm, we can say. I can in game. Yeah, like okay, sure. We, we it's only me, Elise, and Flusha. Perfect <laughs> team. <laughs> we play three on five. We win, we win every tournament. Yeah. Guardian. Shocks, Get Right, Forest, and myself. Team, I think my dream team is just like five Moses, just just lined up. That's a really good answer. The the Bold Eagles. That would be sick. That would be a really good team. No opera though. Um, Sean Gares. Yeah. Device. Sean Gares as coach or in game. In game. Sean okay. Gares, device. Uh, seized. Uh, let's see who else is there. We can go with Pasha. Yeah. And there's got to be a fifth good-looking, good-looking guy out there. You're just making a team of supermodels, oh, basically. Team. <laughs> making a team of dreamy guys. Okay. And nothing, because I mean, he can just make me laugh. All right. So supermodels, and then like and team, the, team Jester. Makes you laugh. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sexiest male player. There you go. <laughs> it's me again, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> No, no, <laughs> uh, no, no. I w I'm gonna just gonna go with Semler. He's not a player, but just most attractive man right, in general. Uh, yeah, Semler's Semler always looks pretty sharp. He's quite a bit taller than you expect him to be in real life. Yeah, Don't you find that? Huge. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm the shortest person here, so yeah, I, everyone's taller than me. It's been noticed. It's been noted. Sexiest male player. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Everybody likes Pasha, right? He's like the he's the stud. No, sexiest female player. Lisette. Just look at her, huh? Come on. <laughs> I've seen a gin naked, so... <laughs> <laughs> is, yeah, she's not the sexiest. Stud. Sexiest female player. This is where we have to be careful. Are you going to say that? Don't really have to be that careful. No? It's a pretty blatant question. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Potter from CLG. Nice choice, Christine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, I've I actually don't even know female players. I like know one female <laughs> team and that's it. I know, I've got CLG Red. That's like my uh, selection pool. I don't know, some of the European girls are very nice, but um, uh, <laughs> so British, right, some, of the, some of the uh, European women are terribly nice, terribly joyful. I don't know, let's go with uh, Miss Harvey. I like Steph. Sexted Mayo, oh my God, Device for sure. He looks like uh, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yes. He's the Tom Cruise from Counter Strike. Device, the sexiest male player. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sex female player. Oh, uh, now you caught me, now you got me. Don't know what I mean. No, 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 no. We barely talk with girls, yeah. being honest. Sorry. Girls not with us. Um, pick one player that you consider is the star of CS. Like the face of Counter-Strike? Yeah. Um, oh my god. Get right. Still, to yeah. this day? Oh yeah. You don't think you slipped? No, I think when you think Counter-Strike, uh, great, so you're going to picture Get Right as the first one up there. So many iconic moments with him. Mm, I guess, yeah, I, I, Nip have got so many, right? I mean, Forrest is up there as well. Not so much these days, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'd go with Get Right as well, probably. I'd say for a long time it was Get Right, and then for a while it was Olaf. Now, I still feel it has to be Olaf. Didn't play that good this event, but he'll come back. Pick one player that you consider is the star on CS, Pasha Biceps. Papa, Papa is the biggest star ever on CS. What about you two? Me too, Pasha. One player? Hmm. I think it's Olaf. Olaf. Actually, yeah. Yeah. He's really good. He is. Oh like his play style and everything, I really like He's it. He's very versatile. Yeah. Yeah. Only I think that I still think that Flusha is number one. Because he lifts his mouse. He lifts his mouse a lot. Yes. When I go to ESCA land, it's always nice to break out. Another interesting thing is that you can also go a little bit fruity with it as well. You can do like a super nice like. California, just like a spunky kind of guy, you know? Um, 
Can you do a <laughs> Jason Darling? Can you do a British? <laughs> can you do a British accent though? I'm really keen to. Not even gonna try. You're not even gonna just a little. A little. <laughs> no. I'll mimic a liege. The rushing bee. The rushing bee. Come rotate. Five B. Five B. Rotate. Hey, jag är Lisset. Jag är medfraggar på LGB Sports. Oh gosh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh my god. You can do the okay. you can do the pants thing. I will hold the I will yeah. hold the pants. Hage, Hage, Hage is every everybody she meets someone new, she's telling her story about one V five, right? One V five. One V five, she's like, I'm planting the bomb. I shot him and I got headshot. I took uh, the clutch. Yeah, it was, it was a sick. It was a sick I, uh, round. I think I heard it like five times from her. <laughs> Everyone's heard that story. <laughs> that was the best gossip you heard about the CS community. The best one, gossip. I heard. Get right, it's coming to North America. I doubt it, but I heard. So let's see. What is gossip? For Foka. Yeah, get right too. About his going to NA. <laughs> uh, the most overrated player, the most underrated player. Who's overrated for you? Oh, this is so cruel. Um, Jesus, this is going to be tough. Um, North American teams. I don't. I can't even pick a player. Let's just say North American teams. All overrated. Overrated. What about underrated? Uh, G two actually. Since that match is going on right now, G two. They surprised me with that first map. It was really nice. Yeah, Jacob is playing absolutely. Yeah, he's, he's, he's not really underrated, but he's, he's phenomenal. Uh, overrated. Yeah, I guess I. The Americans. I don't like picking on players. I'd no, rather pick exactly. on an entire group of people. Yeah, and the Americans they have such a fan reaction right at these kind of events. Do you think the British teams are over, are overrated? I think the British I mean, they teams. They really bad, and that <laughs> still might mean they're overrated. But I the thing about British teams, we just have no expectation whatsoever. How can you be over or underrated? Well, low and never be disappointed. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh snap! <laughs> um, hmm. I think. Uh, I think uh, I think it's gonna go mute the TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was so, so sad. Yeah. The most. I think the most underrated. I think is Crims because he he can he's like underrated because of Olaf in the team, but he plays really well too. He's very consistent. He yeah. is, and he doesn't get a lot of the. A lot of so much attention oh. as the other guys, like the big Opera, JW, the big uh, li mouse lifter Flusha, <laughs> and uh, Olaf, of course. Yeah, and overrated. Under overrated. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> the most overrated player, the most underrated player. I am the most overrated player. People think I'm damn good with help, but I suck. This tournament I play a really bad default, but I'm winning, so it's fine. Uh, most underrated player is still, still the most underrated. People criticize Rina a lot, but he's the best. The most overrated player, falling of course, and the most underrated. Let me think. I like Exis pretty much. I think he's really underrated. Exis is the best. Yeah. He's hard. The most overrated player. Shroud. The most underrated player. Adren. Did you did you take drugs before anti-doping rules existed? No, never. Uh, did you take drugs before anti-doping rules existed? Uh, this as a player, Jason. Uh, have you ever doped? <laughs> Lance, Ar <laughs> Lance Armstrong, Moses, have you ever smoked the marijuana cigarettes? No, no, doping in a in a sporty no, sense. No, I have never. Uh, no, never. Uh, I've never had more monster though. Say no to drugs, kids. Did you take drugs before doping rules existed? Man, drugs, alcohol, and sex. Three things that LG guys doesn't know what it's all about. So no drugs, no weed, no cigarettes. We are all clean. Drugs, females, we don't know <laughs> nothing about this. Love it. Did you take drugs before anti-doping rules existed? No. Uh, is drugs alcohol? No. no. Drugs, then alcohol no. is not drugs. No. Cheese! <laughs> MVK. <laughs> Sexiest female player. I would need to know who they are. Guess. Someone from Epsilon? <laughs> uh, I have a girlfriend, so no comment. 
Sexy Criminal Prayer. Mm, LKS. I'm going to pass on this one. I feel like I'm going to get in trouble if someone sees this. Yeah, this is a dangerous question. <laughs> I can't believe I'm being asked this right now. Uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and.